What is up, Booger Beans? Welcome back to another episode of Adventure with Boog. I'm Tanner. I'm Sydney. And Booger's again inside because <laughs> construction is not safe for dogs. She's uh, really not a part of this channel anymore. <laughs> no, Adventures with Boog without Boog. Um, so today we're going to start putting in the subfloor. Um, we've got everything painted and sealed and ready to start putting in plywood and styrofoam and 2 by 4s and vapor barrier and sealant. Um, but before we do that, go down, hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. Um, we just reached 100 subscribers and we are currently doing a giveaway. All you have to do to be entered in that giveaway is be subscribed to our channel. And if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you share or tag anyone in any of our posts, then you will also be entered again. Bonus um, entry, that's what that's called. Bonus entry, yeah. Um, but um, until then, let's, uh, let's keep working on the bus. Yeah. Okay, Booger Beans, so one thing that I haven't seen anyone do yet on a bus conversion, and I don't know why, um, is put down a vapor barrier between the steel and the subfloor. Um, what happens sometimes if you have heat and you have cold metal, you're going to get condensation there, which is going to leach into the 2x4s, the styrofoam, all that stuff. So we're gonna put down a vapor barrier before we do that, and then we're gonna put down the plywood and the styrofoam and the two by fours all on top of that to help prevent any of that moisture coming up. Okay. And uh, yeah, hopefully it works. I don't know if this is actually necessary or not, but we've got the vapor barrier gifted by dad. So thanks dad. We're sponsored. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it shouldn't take too much work and we'll uh, get to it. Okay guys, so just a couple things you're going to need for when you're doing your uh, flooring. So below our vapor barrier, the black goop that we called it is actually acoustical sealant. It's a vapor and sound barrier and we're using that to basically keep the vapor barrier to the floor but also seal all the cracks and seal all the holes. This stuff is used on houses a lot in foundations and uh, on the walls in the basement. And this goop basically stays like rubbery and kind of sticky for like ever, for like literally for like 30 years, it will still be good. So that's what we're using under the vapor barrier. Then underneath the plywood between the uh, studs or the joists, I guess, and the plywood, we're gonna be putting down some PL um, construction adhesive. Um, this is premium, it says three times stronger, but then the premium, premium stuff said eight times stronger. So where's the one times? <laughs> so uh, that's just to help stop squeaking and basically just help make sure that it's sealed all the way around and then in the corners we're gonna be just using some uh, gaps and cracks spray foam we're gonna be using some great stuff non spawn you had such a missed opportunity there saddens my full heart now I have to leave it all this. <laughs> Um, so we're using that along the outside edge and in the back corners of the bus where we couldn't really get the 2x4 in nice and flush um, just to fill those little cracks and help prevent any uh, cold air basically seeping up from below. So let's get to it. What do you think would happen if you put this in your ears? It would fill your ears full of this shit. So now we want to try and slide that. Oh, can you grab the end of that roll? Yeah, there we go. Now we just want about six to eight inches kind of coming up there. And we'll just take a, um, yeah, that's good. I a hole in mine. A hole in the vapor yeah. That's fine, we'll just tuck tape over it. It's no biggie. Now we're gonna roll this across the floor. Yeah, that's good, just let it fold over. I know, but yours is way smaller. Oh, it's just not, the, the cut might not be straight. Oh, okay. So we need to, actually this guy isn't straight either, is he? Just roll it across. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, now what we'll do, can you just back spin this a little bit? So like spin it towards the wall and then just pull it out. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Okay. Like you said, most people are going to do this, so. Yeah, again, it's just, it might prevent a little bit of moisture. It might make moisture. I don't know. All I know is we do it on houses, on foundation walls. So I don't see why you wouldn't do it in your bus. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, squeeze more though, babe. More? Yeah, squeeze it. So this is a problem that we're gonna face throughout this build, and it's gonna be that it's too damn cold in Alberta. <laughs> Don't buy a bus in August and then go on a three-week vacation. Yeah, so we're gonna put it in there. 
luckily this goop will basically stay sticky for its entire life. Like it doesn't ever harden up or anything, so I'm not really super worried about it. And the vapor barrier on the floor is gonna help a little bit anyway. So, yep, that's where we're at. Let's uh, keep working. And we don't want to get high, so. So where are we at, right? Oh, it's made it. So we got all the plastic halfway, three, three quarter <laughs> way through the bus. All the plastic not done. Yeah. <laughs> um, so because we have to keep shuffling stuff back and forth with the heaters and the fan and the electric heater and blah, 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 blah. It's four heaters, a fan, and a tripod that we are moving but not using, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna frame out this back part and start getting the insulation in and getting the plywood down and everything. And then we're gonna move forward and we should be able to get one sheet of plywood, two sheets of plywood, and then we can move all that stuff onto here and we won't have to muck around with it anymore. Dream big. And the front of the bus is gonna be a lot of work. So, so we're not doing it yet. Always save the most work till the end because You'll have experience from doing the easy work first. That's what I thought in university, but I really just want to drop out now. Reasonable. <laughs> so now we're going to start measuring for the pieces of 2x4. So what we're going to do is we're going to run 2x4 basically all the way around the outside of the bus. Then we're going to run one in the middle for the lap of the plywood. And then we're going to run a couple braces in between. And then we'll put all the styrofoam in there and screw them down. Zoop, zoop. Yep. Just like that, it sounds the exact same. Yes. So, what we did is, I believe, from the wheel well to the wall is almost exactly ten feet. So I bought two, I bought a couple of ten foot two by fours, so they should fit there perfectly, and we won't have to do any measuring. So let's just go down. <laughs> ah -ha -ha. You know, pull that, pull that right against against the wall, not against the corner. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we need it now. It's sticky on the floor. Okay. Okay, that is 119 and a half. Do so you know how long 10 foot 2x4 is? 120. 120. So we need to cut off just a hair freaking bit. But see that corner is like rounded. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. <coughs> Put a 2x4 in that corner. <coughs> so. All the corners are rounded. There's it's. It's not. Five inches back is where it starts and it goes out to three inches. So basically the whole corner of the two by four. So if we just cut the corner of two by four off, make it 119 and a half, cut it off, put it in. Easy. Do it. Okay, bucket beans, we got the first piece of wood into the bus. When you bring your pieces of wood in the bus, make sure they're facing the right direction because if they're not, you have to stick them out the window, turn them around. <laughs> Sydney will demonstrate. Yeah. I'll, I'll open it for you. <laughs> so we had to put an angle end on some of the 2 by 4s So in order to turn it around, you got to kind of stick it out the window, and then and then turn it around, and and then you're good. <laughs> so yeah, put your piece of wood the right way into the bus. Styrofoam is a plasticized on one side and then aluminized on the other side. It's like probably really good for lighting. Beauty. The beauty lights? It doesn't do much because there's no light in here. Reasonable. But let's put it in the floor 
and uh, we didn't mark the sizes of any of them, so it's gonna be a guessing game. Cool, let's do it. These little corners of the two by fours that we're trying to fill, just in those corners right there. And at the back here, underneath the back of this plywood right in there, there's no uh, no, star, no foam in behind there, or it's just basically open airspace. So we're just gonna bring in that gaps and cracks filler and try and fill it in. It does expand a lot, so it's probably okay. I'm gonna come up here, yeah. Nice. Okay, Booger Bean, so we're about to start actually putting in the first sheet here. And one thing you guys got to remember to do when you're uh, putting down your sheet is always mark the location of your studs so that you can screw into them. So here, we've marked the center of this, our joist. We've also over here, we've marked the center of that joist. And over here, we actually had to mark it on the wall there. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but that's where we had to mark it. So now we're gonna put out down to PL400. And then we'll uh, then we'll be ready to uh, screw it down. So Sid's gonna start putting down all the PL 400s. So just basically run a beam down, a bead down there. Yep. You shouldn't need to hold this up, babe. Well, I'm a little scared not to. You can put more than that. Hey, Booger Beans! So we did two sheets of plywood and we already went through one tube of PL400. So, um, get lots of PL400, I guess. Tip of the day. Yeah, get lots of PL400. So we're gonna screw down these back two sheets and really that's all we can do for tonight, honestly. And then we'll have a hot chocolate. Yeah, we don't have any more 2x4s. Oh, well, we have more 2x4s, but we don't have any more screws. <laughs> to put them to the floor so we can't do any of that. We don't have any more peel. 400 so we can't do any of that. So yeah, that's where we're at. Working on the bus. Working on the bus. Okay, butter beans. That concludes this episode. Um, so what we basically did was we got the back half framed and two sheets of plywood screwed down and that's really it. <laughs> um, 
I thought we would have all the floor done on this episode, yeah. but so that just takes longer than you get expect. Over it. Yeah. Um, but before we go, guys, go down, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us a comment, let us know what you thought of the video. Also, remember, we do have a vid giveaway going on until November 14th. So if you are subscribed to this channel, you'll be entered to the giveaway. And if you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or any other of our social medias, and you basically share our post or tag a friend, you will also be entered again. You also could enter our giveaway on Patreon by giving us things, giving your things away to us. Yeah, we are starting a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I don't have anything on there though there's nothing there um, but, but uh, thanks for tuning in guys and uh, wait till uh, next episode and we'll get this floor done maybe